The main reason why people should watch this movie is to find out that people we admire come with the same set of problems that we have and that they're humans like we are. We can think that everybody has it made. I think one of the things that I wrote in the very beginning where Marvin's talking about how, you know, I've got a great family and a great career and so on and so forth. And my highway was smooth driving, but it wasn't. There were a lot of bumps in the road. Nobody is uh, immune to having issues in their life. This movie is one of those kind of movies that you can see yourself in. And I really try to depict that in so many different instances and in so many different scenes. It's not just about Marvin, it's about us. It's about humanity. It's about us as black people and that we can make it, but we can still be humble. People should tune in to the Marvin Sapp story because it's never a dull moment. What? Put that on the interview. <laughs> so you have the church, you have the backstory with him growing up in Detroit and his mom and... I can't believe I'm having this conversation with a child! A child? I'm a man! Whoa, whoa, I seriously whoa. doubt that! What, what is going on here? Pimps, and there's so much happening. And then there's the love story between him and Melinda and them bringing up a family. And even the struggle that she had with getting cancer and her fighting through the cancer. And you see the this dynamic woman who's <gasps> capable of everything. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, Marvin, it feels like someone is stabbing me in my stomach okay, with a knife. Okay. Can you please? Somebody, okay, okay, I'm gonna grab someone now. Who's slowly starting to deteriorate, but in the midst of it, she's putting things in place for her family, and she's setting up her husband, who's also a genius within his own right. It really just makes for a very interesting story, like how did this thing come to be, and how did it keep going even when the wind underneath of his wings left? God, I need your strength. I need you to make this make sense. And it's a beautiful story. And like I said, it's never a dull moment. People should watch Never Would Have Made It because they're gonna leave inspired. They're gonna see a different side of Marvin Sapp that you've never seen before. This guy has it all together. He has a great career, wonderful children, a voice that inspires so many. His life is perfect, but that's just what you see on the surface. And you're gonna love it. And I executive produced it, why wouldn't you watch it? If they're interested in seeing another version of overcoming and doing what I call living beyond the pain. The pain doesn't leave. We just learn to live beyond it. Some of us remain in mourning and we're mourning the rest of our lives who we've lost. And because many of us are always trying to figure life out, it's good to see another expression or presentation of living beyond the pain, living beyond resistance, because there may be something in this biopic that you didn't see in another biopic that hits you the way you needed something to hit you to help you along for either the next year or for the rest of your life. We had the best cast on Ever Would Have Made It, the film, uh, with young Marvin Kamari and young Melinda Dawn and uh, adult Marvin Chaz and adult Melinda Amber. They were the best cast that I've worked with in some time. And shout out to Seth and, and, and everybody, just the cast and, you know, Jay. And there's, I mean, so many in a great cast, but the cast was a professional. They were on time and they understood the assignment and Marvin, was, you know, every day would be like blown away, like, wow, this cast, it was kind of scary for him to watch, but the cast was amazing. So a special shout out to the cast. We, could, we definitely couldn't have done it without you. Yo, this is Marvin Sapp, and this is my story. It's actually told my way, coming to you this summer on TV One. <laughs>